Okay, so while I have this done, uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to create a drawing uh, which shows the cutting list of each one of these components. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm simply just going to go down to my plus sign in the bottom left and I'm going to create drawing. When I go to create drawing, I'm going to go to custom template and I'm now going to go over here to do not include okay, uh, any borders and do not include any title block blocks. Yeah. Title block block, sorry. So press OK. And it should have a nice blank page. What I have is I've got all my pieces here, okay, ready to bring in. So I'm gonna start with number one, um, which is this part here. And I'm simply just going to click anywhere. Okay, that's my elevation, and if I move to the right, that should okay be my end view. Okay, so that's all I need, okay, of that. So what I'm going to do there, okay, is I'm now going to bring in another piece. So I'm going to go to Insert View, and I'm going to go to Insert Part. So my next part now that I'm going to bring in is, okay, Part 3, because Part 1 and 2 are the same. So this brings in an end view first. Okay, I might even start that here over the far right. Try and get it in line with that one as best you can. And then we click to the left. Okay, and that's my second part. We'll go to our next part now, which is going to be our part five. Okay. So what's that bring in? It's bring in a end view, as you can see. Okay, and I just need to click that here, and then go down with it, and then that is my other view, my third view. So there's three parts there at the moment. Okay. Um, what I will do here now is I'll bring in my piece that I've just cut. Okay. Um, part two. And forget about it, I'll actually just leave it. So those three parts are enough. So I'm just going to add a note into the top here. And that note is capital C cutting list of I'm going to pull that out. Cutting list of sensory boxes. Underline the whole thing and we will give it okay and underline and press escape. Okay. Next thing is we're going to dimension these. So just simply here to here. Okay. So this is in inches at the moment. What I'm going to do here, okay, is if I click on this line and then left click again, I don't get the option, okay, to put in any uh, of my dimensions. So I'm just simply going to double click on it. Okay. Double left click. Go over to inches and change that to millimeters. Double click, click on this. Just press escape here. Double left click, click on inches, down to millimeters. And click out here. Now I could move, okay, this view over a small bit because it's a bit close, I feel, to the edge. Okay. Now if we double left click on that and um, we can drop this menu down and we just go to, okay, there's one decimal place, two decimal places. At the moment it's three. Just go to, okay, one. And, um, yeah, that, that should look good. Okay. One decimal place. And there we go. So we can do the same now for all the other boxes.
and I'll just pull this over. We can put that view if you want underneath it. And I'm just going to add in some notes on that. You can put that note up there. Just going to say part one. Okay. Go over here. Part two. And down here. three <clears throat> let's press escape so what I can do now is just bring these up a bit closer to one another make the drawing look that bit neater okay okay like that okay and that is just gonna put all my measurements in the middle. They should always be in the middle. Okay, like that. And that is the cutting list of my sentry boxes completed. Okay, so we've just gone through a custom drawing here. Uh, we've learned how to ring in notes, and we've also learned how to dimension it. Okay, uh, and to change okay our units and dimensions from inches to millimeters. Okay, thank you.